how do I define myself as, as a leader? Well, I can, I can uh, explain that in two words, uh, that being one, one option, the other is, you know, taking probably, you know, 15 minutes to explain myself. But the way I, I, I introduce myself is, uh, you know, in, in one line, no-nonsense leader who's committed to the task right, fully and uh, someone who basically, you know, does the job with uh, optimum level of passion. And in that, day in, day out, uh, looking at uh, elevating the performance uh, in the current role than, um, you know, thinking about what I am going to do tomorrow, right? Uh, so that's me. Uh, you know what a, what a leader does, but, you know, just ignoring that for the time being, a leader uh, always should have certain attributes which your followers, you know, would happily, convincingly emulate, right? Uh, leadership doesn't limit itself to, you know, just communication, giving direction, giving in instructions, or, or, you know, setting the strategy. There is a behavioral, um, you know, portion that is much bigger than that, right? That behavior is, you know, your, your style, you know your your tone, your mood, the the level of energy you you show to your people. Um, uh, you know when it comes to uh, sort of doing things right, the way you do things. So you know that whole behavioral thing in in today's environment has become more critical than the other technical aspects of you know leadership. Right. Um, so. Therefore, uh, a leader should always, um, you know, when when managing people, when providing the leadership to people, uh, you know, understand uh, what what the followers are actually looking for, and 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 you know, align yourself, you know, with that. In today's environment you're talking about multiplying challenges, right? Uh, so in an environment where challenges get multiplied on a daily basis, you need to keep on sharpening your skills, your your abilities, your styles, you know, all that. So that is a daily process that has to happen, right? All the other things I do, you know, sports to various other, um, you know, uh, leisure things I do help me to develop you know those attributes that are required in a leader uh, to be able to you know earn the right admiration and to disseminate the right messages to the followers. My own own theory about role models, right? I would advise people not to follow one role model. If you follow one individual, you are going to miserably fail, right? But concept of role model, the role model is, is not a bad idea. But what sh uh, people should do is, younger generation should do is, look at not just one, but few people, see what they are best at, and try to emulate that. Say for example, there is an individual you know, whose uh, style is very nice, right? very, very appealing, uh, heart winning. You try to emulate the style from him. Okay? At the same time, there may be a, another leader whose intellect is excellent, right? with lot of new ideas and uh, you know, technical uh, you know, side is very, very strong. You try to emulate that from that person, right? So like that, you just look for different, uh, you know, attributes in different people and then try to emulate, you know, those attributes from those different individuals, try to come up with a different formula for you, right? Uh, if somebody, you know, goes to follow me, uh, that person is not going to be successful because each individual is different, right? Who am I? As I said, you know, I'm a sportsman, you know, I'm a, a singer too, you know, I'm a writer, all that, right? 
uh, and then if you if you say if you can't run for example if you try to follow me and think oh, okay kishu gong is running and he wins and then and, and you know that has helped him to you know do whatever he has done if you can't run you can't run so don't demulate uh, me me on that right so you could to understand you know where your strengths are and and then basically you know can strengthen your your uh those those you know strong areas so in in summary don't follow just one individual learn from as many people as possible and and be that uh complete and uh, individual mm, a lot of people ask me as to whether i had a vision you know uh, of of becoming a ceo or that my answer has always been that i wanted to be a successful individual uh who's identified recognized respected who's unique all that that is what i wanted to be but in that whether i wanted to be a ceo or someone else to to achieve what i just described i did not know you know to be very honest with you all what i did was i just got into a field where i thought i could uh, uh you know do well which is marketing got into that and then used everything i had in me to do that job better right better than the others or to the expected level certain times exceeding the expectations and through that process gradually moving up in the ladder right that is all i be focusing on right and i tell the younger generation uh when performing don't think of what you're going to do tomorrow simply focus on what you're doing today the the philosophy there being that whether you're going to be a ceo or general manager or someone else is a decision your superiors will take for you okay now in an organization board of directors or you know someone else who will make the decision for you so when making the decision they'll not look at initially they'll not look at how you can perform in the future job but how you're performing in the current job present job right so people will take notice of you if you are only performing in your job exceeding the expectations right and while doing that you got to show your your abilities to be able to do the future job as well but then you shouldn't mix up the two so coming back to the question this is what i have done you know I've, that's why i told you you know today if you ask me where where i would like to be if i was down the road i will say i don't know right i am not thinking about that all i'm thinking about uh, is how do i do this job at a much higher level today than yesterday in 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 today's environment um you know you can you can demand respect you can't order people right uh, people are not going to respond to that uh they may respond uh to to secure their jobs and all that but that doesn't come from their heart so they are for you know going to get the maximum out of them the way one can be successful is is by earning the respect earning that right admiration then and and building credibility right for yourself in the eyes of your employees right so that takes a lot of you know painstaking work it doesn't come uh, free or, or naturally right you need to work really really hard to be able to get to that level so what do i do to you know earn that obviously you know for you to stay where you are uh you know you need to be um a very very sharp uh, person with the right knowledge uh right behavioral attributes right style all that right so leaders sh- should demonstrate what he or she is uh whenever 
he or she gets that opportunity. That way on credibility. Uh, you know, convince the people that you are your uh, you are the leader because you know you have something which others do not have. Right? Uh, so you know there are there are there are technical things you need to do and then there are behavioral things you need to do and then there are values and you know ethics and all that as well right so this values and ethics the way i define that is a leader should be a good human being in the first place right but that is not to say that you have to be nice all the time to all the people you can't do that in business right your customers are not nice to you. If they are not, then you can't be nice to the stakeholders of the business, right? You got to be effective. But while being effective, be good as a human being as well. So you got to first, uh, you know, let your people know that you are a good human being who has a goal to achieve, and and. Uh, Without, uh, you know, their support, leader can't achieve the goals, right? So in that, leader at times has to make very, very uh, strong, hard decisions, which sometimes may not be as popular as, you know, uh, it, it should be. So if you let the people know that you are a good human being whenever you get the right opportunity to you know demonstrate that and if you uh, let the people see your your abilities your capacity all that at the right level and if you are committed to the task you show right level of energy you show your loyalty passion for the business and you know other things that you need to do as a leader you will earn that respect and with that respect you can get anything done right it may be something that they wouldn't want to do under normal circumstances but there are times when people uh, you know take a conscious decision to stretch the, the boundaries and go beyond uh, the traditional boundaries to perform uh, at the request of the leader so if you can create that kind of a culture within an organization, uh, then you are able to get the maximum uh, productivity from all the employees. Many challenges, um, you know, finally business institutions or commercial institutions, uh, when the term commerce is used, you immediately you know, talk about customers when you talk about customers you're talking about um, uh, you know uh, consumers uh, share of voice share of mind which equals to share of market right uh, and then it also um, uh, brings into the picture the competitive elements right? so competition uh, for your products or services is the biggest challenge right? and then your your cost structure cost pressures uh, given that um, economic environment uh, is, is not the most conducive right? in, in any country any time of uh, the, the year right? that is that and then uh, being able to get the maximum out of your people, right? Uh, there is this argument uh, whether you know people work to live or, or live to work, right? And um, while uh, different people will give give uh, different answers, uh, answer to me is people work to live. If people had enough money, uh, and and there were ways and means of earning money without uh, working um, they would have done it right uh, so you work to earn your living and I guess you know that's a fact uh, all employers leaders managers and everyone
should understand. That's the reality. Accept the reality. And then, uh, you know, um, make the cycle work where you, know, you just employ people, you give them the right tools and other things that are required for these people to be able to do the job better. That leads to performance at the right level. And then performance uh, should realize recognition and, and rewards for the people. Right? Then they'll uh, continue to be motivated or they'll be motivated to a, to a higher level. And then when they're motivated uh, to a higher level, they'll look at um, you know, contributing at a higher level. So then when they contribute at a higher level, they should be better recognized and rewarded. You know, that cycle has to work. Right? So if you can make that cycle work, then it will be continuous performance. I believe um, it's a person who has the right technical background coupled with uh, the right experience. Right? Uh, if you don't have the, the right technical knowledge, if you are a marketing person having marketing, if you are a finance person you know, having that technical knowledge, if you are a doctor you know, having that qualification, you can't perform, right? So that is of paramount importance, you know, that's critical. You've got to have that subject knowledge and then experience. But experience to me is not the number of years, okay? But your, your, your level of knowledge, right? Level of knowledge. Um, and one person may take 10 years to learn something whereas another may just take you know one year to get that experience but um, generally uh, experience comes with time because as you said you know it's a dynamic world right situations keep changing conditions keep changing and over a period of time you interact with more people, different people with different attitudes, different styles and uh, you know during different horizons you face different challenges. Competition you know keeps evolving as well right so you need time to gain that experience right, right? then only you can say you, you are well experienced right um, so therefore experience over a period of time, reasonable period of time and uh, you know there is no hard and fast rule to say that you know in five years you gain the required uh, you know level of uh, experience. There's no norm like that. It, it varies from industry to industry. It varies from you know situation to situation, business to business. There are so many variables uh, that uh, sort of go into uh, that that whole thing. But uh, yeah, the simple answer is technical competency coupled with the uh, right experience would you know create that uh, winning leader for a leader there is no easy decision or simple decision um, um, what are those difficult decisions you make um, in respect of people the decisions you have to make you know when going through different you know stages of difficult times is very very hard right uh, in, in today's environment you know leaders are pushed to uh, you know hire and fire people uh, leaders are pushed to um, you know asking the people to go away being with you for a long time um, that's 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 very very tough. Um, what are some of the other difficult decisions? Um, investment decisions are, are difficult decisions in the sense that uh, you know you got to go through a very very comprehensive assessment before you make uh, the right investment decisions. And uh, if the investment is is a large investment, there is a you know greater risk. Environment being environment being uh, very uncertain today, being volatile, not knowing uh, the, the kind of challenges you are going to face tomorrow. Um, 
making investment decisions is, is, is a very very uh, you know tough thing to do um, uh, you know decisions you make in terms of uh, uh, you know let's say sales marketing or distribution uh, strategy um, that again is you know extremely difficult so what we generally do is we look at what has happened in the past and then we anticipate uh, the scenario to be you know going forward so just look at those two uh, you know things and then you make a decision but uh, uh, you know that scenario actual scenario may be different to the one you hope for right so how do we really make that you know right decision right uh, prediction you know these are real challenges for leaders um, what are some of the other uh, decisions you know making decisions for the consumers uh, let's say for example communication right uh, we do research uh, to understand consumer aspirations you know what they think about you know your products and services and based on what you hear uh, you know you just come up with uh, a good strategy and you make you know changes to your product uh, proposition you know brand proposition you know all that all that and then just uh, make that offer to the consumer and then you try to you know communicate to the to the consumer uh, what your product can you know, offer to them uh, but the difficulty is that you know you can't talk to the entire customer base right you just select a sample and then you know do your research you know within that sample and that sample may rep uh, may not represent uh, sometimes you know more than 10% uh, of your of your target audience so you have spoken to just 1% of your target audience you have just understood the uh, the, the minds and hearts of 1% of your customers and you are expected to make a decision covering 100% so you can easily go wrong so these are these are real life uh, challenges for leaders. Uh, growth can come effectively in two ways. One external growth, the other is internal growth if you're talking about achieving the bottom line. If you have a very fat organization, uh, you can make it a lean organization, then you're talking about obviously adding to the bottom line. You will produce your product or service at a lower cost and you maintain the selling price you have a greater gross margin the other is uh, being external external being coming from the consumer right uh, so you want consumers to buy more of your products more frequently at a higher price right so how do you make that happen despite um, you know, uh, increased competition, um, you know, depleting economic conditions, you know, all that. Uh, so you've got to basically manage those two things. Right? But, uh, you know, internally, if you have done done things right, then obviously, you know, you've got to uh, focus externally. But leaders should always, you know, start from that external thing. Not from uh, internal. Internal is easy. It's within your control. External, you don't have full control, right? You take control with the strategy, right? Uh, strategy you come up with, and then you know, depending on the, uh, the 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 dynamism, you know, you need to shape and reshape your strategies on a continuous basis to align your strategies to the prevailing condition out there in the market. So that's the best thing to do, try and get it from uh, uh, the external sources. Upcoming leaders, uh, one thing I can say is that leaders should be spending more time uh, in, in thinking, planning, strategizing, all that. Because Sri Lankan leaders have a habit of, um, you know, uh, action in things pretty fast. Sri Lankan leaders um, have a habit of uh, trying to achieve, you know, results over a short period of time. Sri Lankan leaders do not have enough patience. Right? 
true the environment is as such that you know we can't be spending too much time to achieve results uh, that's a given you know you need to achieve results on a daily basis weekly monthly annually right? your shareholders need annual returns you know not uh, uh, you know returns over a decade or something uh, so you have to obviously you know deliver short term results but in doing so uh, you need to spend enough time uh, understanding uh, your customers your partners your business understanding your competitors understanding uh, the the operating environment within which you will execute your strategies you know understanding that coming up with the right uh, strategies supporting the strategy execution with right resources in terms of you know money to material to people and uh, making sure that the execution happens uh, efficiently to be able to achieve the, the desired uh, result um, so leaders uh, you know should be managing that that entire environment